G'day, it's Adam VK4GHZ. I've just been playing around with my K3NG rotator controller um, boards in the last couple of days. Main reason for that is that um, I'm on the assembly bench here. I've got seven more universal control boards, which um, I'm just assembling up for people. And I thought it was about time, considering I haven't touched this in about six months, I thought it was about time I updated the firmware on my own boards here. So on the bench, I've got a, uh, a G5500 specific controller board and up mounted there I've got the universal controller board. Now the firmware in uh, both of these is um, from about October last year I think. Um, so I thought uh, I'll reprogram with, with the latest versions from uh, February and that's when I was reminded of a modification to the code that I made back then. Because the problem is this, when you go to turn your, and this is, this is something you may not be aware of unless your rotator is sitting right here next to you and you can see and hear what's going on. I mean, if it's up in the tower, where it should be, um, you may be oblivious to this. So when you go to turn the system on, it does that. It's actually rotating for, uh, for almost two seconds. Now, not a big problem, but um, it, it just, it's causing extra unnecessary uh, wear and tear on your um, on your antenna array just with the stop and starting and of course these don't have any slow slow um, start slow stop it's just one sudden on off movement anyway it's really easy to fix stick around because that's coming up On the bench, I've got my G5500 controller board. This is using a Teensy 3.2 microcontroller. Really, really good microcontrollers. I use these on a lot of projects. Uh, it's, there's a three and a half inch connection display, and I've got the ever faithful Handtech two channel digital storage crow. So just to explain the setup here, channel one of the crow is simply hooked up to the five volt power supply of the controller board. So what's going to happen when the power, when the controller board is turned on, it will trigger the crow to do its capture. The second channel, the green trace, is looking at, oh and incidentally, this is actually, um, when you turn it on, it it uh, it goes clockwise. So what I'm going to do, be doing, I'm going to be looking at the clockwise output and referring to the schematic. I can see that is um, digital pin 3, D3 output. So I'm going to put my second channel on the D3 output on this particular board. It just happens to be there. Kind of helps if you turn the crow on first, hey. All right, so put this in run mode. I'm currently at 50 milliseconds per horizontal division, we'll turn it on. And as you can see, this is the power coming on. So 50 milliseconds per division, 50, 100, 150, 200, 250, 300, 350, about 360 milliseconds after power on, that uh, clockwise pin is going high, which drives the MPN transistor, which pulls the clockwise uh, control line low, which sends the uh, rotor clockwise. If that 360 millisecond startup delay seems like a long time, it's actually quite deliberate with the Teensy 3 and family and the Teensy LC. Those microcontrollers actually have deliberate delay introduced during its startup. Now this caught out a lot of people back in the early days and if we go to the PJRC forum, which is the TNC forum, uh, back in 2016 people were complaining about this and as uh, Paul Stoffrigen explains, who is the creator of the TNC microcontroller, the um, introducing this delay at, at, at startup was quite deliberate. It's because the TNC would power up so fast um, relative to the external hardware connected to it, the Teensy didn't always recognise that the hardware was there, so the Teensy had to be slowed down. So back in 2017, there was a 400 millisecond startup delay in the code. And this delay will occur before the setup in your sketch. 
So now you can you can reduce this delay down to zero. Um, it's, it's quite safe to do that. However, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to leave that well enough alone. But if you do want to redu reduce your startup delay in your Teen C3 family or your Teen CLC microcontroller, use your text editor. I happen to be using Notepad++. If you navigate to Program Files x86, Arduino, Hardware, Teen C, AVR, Cores, and the Teen C3 folder, you're going to come across a, a, a file called um, pins tnc pins underscore tnc dot c open that up and i know i'm, I'm looking for um let me put on that screen now i'm looking for 280. Fine, next because i know the default delay at the moment um tnc initialization usb delay before so before it initializes the usb port is 20 milliseconds and after it initializes the USB, there's a 280 millisecond delay there. So it's a 300 millisecond delay all up before the setup um, in, in your sketch is run. And if I were you, I would just keep that how it is. All right, so what we'll do now, I'm just gonna adjust the time scale. Let's ramp that up to 500 milliseconds and repeat that. It'll trigger when I turn it on. Green trace is looking at the clockwise output. There it is there. So as you can see, I'm just going to expand that scale out. So we're looking at um, 200 milliseconds per division. So it's 200, 400, 600, 800 a second, 1.2, 1.4, 1.6, 1.8. Just over two seconds. Um, what's that? Two, almost 2.2 seconds. So that's why the thing is rotating around. When we power it up, we can actually see the clockwise pin go high for that amount of time. So to try and fix that, let's have a look at the K3NG rotator controller code. 2022-02-2001. So it's the first, first and only version released on the 20th of February, 2022. What we need to do is look for the setup routine. Now, probably the best way to approach this, considering that line numbers are gonna change with, with each and every release, is to, um, to do a search for that. So I'm running a Windows box here, so I'm just gonna do a Control F for find, type in setup. Find that. So at the time of recording with this version, it's at line 1858. And as we can see there, initialize pins. That's the um, first, second, third. It's the fourth, fourth subroutine to execute. So what we're going to do, we're going to move that and make that become the first thing that executes. So we'll compile that and upload that to the microcontroller. Oh, hello Gizmo. Guest appearance by Gizmo. While that's compiling. Oh, really? Huge amount of code here. I mean, the, the, the amount of work Goody's done over the years is just incredible. And yes, I'm trying to get myself across to Visual Studio, but oh my God, that's um, <laughs> the Arduino IDE is just so much easier to use. Here we go, programming, all done. All right, so let's check out the behavior of the board now that we've made that very simple change. Perfect, <laughs> it doesn't move as it should so there's my counter clock there's my clockwise right with that simple change let's um let's have a look at see what's going on here so i'm going to hook channel two of the crow up to the clockwise output didn't rotate 
As we can see, there is actually um, a brief pulse coming out of that clockwise output, but it, it's too small for the the um, for it to do anything. Um, currently on 200 milliseconds of division. Let's just expand that out. Let's um, let's try uh, 20 milliseconds. We'll reset that. Let's turn it off and back on again. Nope, too small. Okay, let's try 50 milliseconds of division. Off, back on. So you can, as you can see, Uh, 50 milliseconds of vision, 50, 100, 152, 253. Still at 360 milliseconds later, we've, we have this brief pulse here on the uh, the clockwise output, but the rotator's not turning. It's it's, it's too narrow to um, for the motors to start spinning up. So what is that? Um, that that's 10 milliseconds of vision. That's um, that's probably about two milliseconds, that output pulse, and perfect. So, as you can see, it's really easy to change. Just move that initialized pins to the very first thing in the um, in the setup routine, and that kind of fixes that one. Hopefully, Goody might implement uh, that change in any future releases, and um, that will eliminate you having to manually change. make that change. All right, until next time, take care. We'll see you then.